Hello there, everybody, and today we are on episode number 41 of the Daily Dose of Drupal. I'm Shane. You can follow me on Twitter, at smthomas3, or you can come to the Code Karate website and check out my other posts and sign up for the newsletter. Today we're going to continue on with where we left off last time and just do a real quick episode on how to actually override these theme functions and templates in your theme. So this is kind of a little bit of a theme development tutorial, I guess, in a way. Basically, if you remember last time, we created a My Example module, which had a theme function, a very simple theme function, My Example function here, as you can see. It also had this template. So we went through and created a theme function in our module and a theme template file in our module. So as you can see, if we come over to our test site here, if I go to Appearance, you can see I am using the default Bartik 7.15 default theme. I should I need to update to 7.16, but for now we'll go with it. And basically, I'm going to do this in the core theme file just for a real quick example. However, I am going to be putting together an example here in the near future on how to create a sub theme of Barctic because that's the correct way to actually do it. But generally, you're probably not going to be using a core theme, or at least more times than not, you may have a custom theme or a theme that you've downloaded from Drupal.org. And so, you may just be able to add it to the template file as I'm going to show you and add the file to the templates directory and keep in, just keep in mind that I'm doing this in the core theme it's not a best practice it's not the way you should be doing it and I will go ahead and make an episode a little later on how the correct way to sub theme uh, one of the core themes would be so we'll go ahead and get started the first thing I'm going to do is I open the template file on the Bartik here inside the Bartik theme and in order to override this function which is what we want to do so in this I mean this is useful if you have if there's a module that has a theme function that outputs something in a certain way and you don't want to obviously modify the module but you want to change the presentation of that theme function. So as you can see, if I go to this page on the site, here is the, the, the theme function is getting called to output this text here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to copy this theme function go into the template.php file of my current theme and I'm going to paste it in and I'm going to change the word theme to the name of my theme. In this case it is Bartik. As you can see here I will then save this. What, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a class I'm just going to call this Bartik Override just so we know that it is using the overridden theme function. So if I come back here and you take a look, first this cl this does not have any class on it. I refresh the page, it still does not have any class on it. And the reason being is because uh, you, in order to actually get the results you're generally going to have to save the, or excuse me, flush the cache. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Just one second here. Okay, so I pulled up the command line. I'm just going to use Drush to clear the cache on the site. I'll go ahead and could just clear one of the theme ones, but we're going to clear everything just to make sure it works. I should be able to refresh now. And you can see, if you look down in the HTML, there's a class Bartik Override. That means now 
my anything that I that is in my module in this function is not actually the function that's being called. It's being overridden and this function is being used. So that's one way to override themable output in your theme is using a theme function. The other is taking this template, which I've already done, and saving it inside you can do it one of two ways. If I come back out, I'm in the Barctic theme. I could save it right here, or I can save it in the templates directory, which I just did. So my example underscore template dot tpl dot php. What this means is I can change this instead of my my dash example dash template. We'll go ahead and pull it up so we can take a look at it before. You can see that it's the current class is my dash example dash template. I can change this to, we'll say, Barctic template, save it, refresh. You can see, you may have to clear the cache, but you can see that this time it worked. The class is now Barctic template. Now, any, instead of using the original template file, it's using my overridden template file inside my theme. So there's two simple ways to override themable output, either from your module file, or uh, a function inside the module file or uh, an, an actual theme template file which is a .tpl.php so if you notice inside a module there's a .tpl.php and it has HTML that you need to override instead of modifying it in the module file you should make a copy of it drop it into your theme and you can then override it there the same goes for if there are theme functions and you can find out if there's a theme function or a template file you can look at yesterday's episode where we go over it but if you look for the module name underscore theme you'll see all of the available theme functions for or that can be overridden in this case it's just a function but in this case you can see that it's clearly a template file so you can be on the lookout for that so that is how you can override themable output that's it for this time on the daily dose of Drupal Follow me on Twitter, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.